Ah. <laughs> I gotta record a video. I don't know if I've introduced y'all to my cat, but that's my cat, Cindy. Very new to the family. Um, so happy 2020. I'm going to be battling this cat's attention because she's obsessed with the, the wire cord. In this video, I'm going to talk about how I personally went about learning Blender. Um, it was a process, so I want to show you guys, and it's a question I get a lot. Um, also, I went on Instagram and I said, hey, well, it, what advice would you give people if they're trying to learn Blender? So I'm going to read a bunch of those answers. But, but before I get into that, let me shout out today's sponsor. Today's sponsor is Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creatives and curious people. Explore new skills, deepen existing passions, and get lost in creativity. There are dozens and dozens of creative topics here on Skillshare from design, animation, color, composition, everything you need is on Skillshare. If you're into interior, Steven Pearson has an incredible course here on creating a modern interior. It's really good, super densely packed with a lot of good material. You can check that out amongst many, many Blender specific courses. Skillshare is curated specifically for learning, meaning there are no ads and they're always launching new premium classes so you can stay focused and follow whatever your creativity takes you. Skillshare is really, really affordable. It's less than $10 a month with an annual subscription. No matter what 2021 brings you, you can spend it creating something meaningful with Skillshare's online class. Skillshare offers membership with meaning. With so much to explore, real projects to create with the support of fellow creatives, Skillshare empowers you to accomplish real growth. With Skillshare, you can find inspiration in the moment and learn how to express your creativity. Skillshare believes a strong community is essential for personal growth. Tap into the support of fellow creatives who provide encouragement, communication, and inspiration. When you join, you can try one of Skillshare's new live classes, experience real-time inspiration as you connect with popular teachers while watching and learning along with members. The first 1,000 people to use the link in my description, you will get a free trial of Skillshare's premium membership so you can explore your creativity. All right, so how did I learn Blender? I learned it 100% on YouTube. Even to this day, I've never taken a paid course. That's not to say paid courses aren't good. In fact, I think pay, uh, paid courses are a fast track, uh, you know, sort of a uh, quicker way to learn things because YouTube, you have to bounce around. But at the time, I got Blender due to budgetary reasons. I just couldn't, I couldn't pay for Cinema 4D. And of course, I couldn't pay for a, a you know, $100 course. So I uh, got Blender and I learned everything on YouTube. And you could do it too. So how did I do it? One thing I liked were videos that were 10 minutes or shorter because what I like to do was binge something really quick and uh, then make something from it. That would be my best advice is watch a couple tutorials and then make something from it. Of course, it's not going to be something you do in the first week. Uh, first week is basics. First week is really the donut tutorial. That's what I would be focusing on and spend every single day doing it if you have the time. For me, I learned Blender in my gap year before college, so I had that whole year to do nothing, so I learned Blender. And I went on the computer and I watched tutorials every day. Um, and it was discouraging. The first month just kind of sucked, which it sucks for everyone. When you're learning a program and you wanna make cool stuff and you just don't know how to, it's really discouraging and you kinda wanna give up. And I do remember several times, especially like in week two of trying to learn Blender where I was like, when am I going to be able to make something without having to watch a tutorial to make it? And that was really frustrating. That was super, super annoying. But you're going to get there. And in my sort of experience, it'll take you to get comfortable with Blender if you use it a little bit every day, about a month. That was my time frame. Now, if you don't have time to use it every day, maybe a couple times a week, it'll take longer. Um, but you're going to have to sort of trudge through the phase of this sucks i hate blender it's boring it's going to be boring now here's a couple things that i wish i would have thought about when i was learning blender of course everyone's going to say learn the basics and you're going to see that a lot and there's truth to that you need to learn the basics what i would do though is i would find small tutorials that show you basics but you create something from the tutorial that's why I structure my videos to be the way they are, where you learn pretty simple things, but you make something really, really cool from it. And then when you're done, not only have you learned something, you've also made something cool. So you get that full experience of Blender, which is what I enjoy. Of course, you use Blender to make cool things. That's one thing I like to do. Another thing I wish I would have learned was to not try to do the super complex stuff. 
if you are just now learning Blender, don't tap. Don't tackle water animations. Don't try a rigid body or cloth. That stuff is when you're comfortable with Blender. If you still are sort of leaning on tutorials to make something, veer away from the really complex stuff and go back to sort of the basics, but you can still have fun. Almost all of my tutorials are dealing with pretty much the basics of the pieces that I teach, but you're making really cool things. Basics, simple is good, and just work on the basics and you can make incredible stuff from just the basics. One thing I would recommend focusing on when you're learning Blender is not only looking at Blender. What I would do is learn about things like composition, color, and uh, you know lighting effects, camera effects, and those are things you can learn from film, other courses, other videos about lighting where you can take things from reality and bring it back into Blender. For example, if you're trying to make a nice photography backdrop for like a model or like a bottle you're recording, you can watch a photography tutorial on how they light their scenes and then you can just use area lights and things like that. It all transfers into Blender and I would wish I would have thought of that rather than trying to lean on my own sort of knowledge. So those are kind of my tips, how I learned Blender of course, watch videos, binge them, watch short ones, watch quick ones, and then after you kind of get good with short, quick ones, watch really long ones. Um, what, you know, I, I've always learned better from quicker videos where I can do something really quick, and then the long ones are really, really good as well, but what, what you need to remember is try to have fun. The quick ones are the ones that help you have fun because if you watch really long ones, you get bored, you turn off your computer and you go do something else, and then you never learn Blender. Um, that's just because of me and my attention span, but really long videos are incredibly valuable if you can keep the attention. That's what I would say about those, but I mostly learned from quick videos, and that's why my videos are super quick. Uh, I want to get now into... All right, now I want to get into the answers on my uh, Instagram community. Again, I ask people, what advice would you give anyone if you are learning Blender and you're new to it? So I'm going to get all these answers going. Ask for critique of your own work. You can only improve once you find out that you are doing something wrong. That's super important, that's, and that's really, really true. When it comes to critique, I would really lean on listening to everything people say, Of but one thing I would caution you is ask people for critique who have work that you think is better than you and you, people who you know are more experienced than you because they'll give you critique. I would be really cautious on just asking anyone for critique because some people can steer you the wrong direction if they have no idea what they're talking about. I would warn that, but critique is extremely important. It's really, really important. Search for free models and materials. You don't have to make everything from scratch. That's true, and I think I've talked about that before here on the channel. Don't be a purist. Don't think you have to do everything, and don't think that if you don't do everything, it's gonna taint your artwork and make it less yours or make it look like you're less of an artist or a experienced user of the program. Everyone uses models. Everyone uses different materials. It's all about that end product. Was it your idea? Yes, it almost really doesn't matter how you got there. As long as you're having fun, making good work, and the work is yours, you can use extra models, things like that, that people are providing that you're not stealing, but people say, hey, you can download this and use this. It's okay. Don't try to be an island or a purist with all this stuff. You can if you want. It's just a lot of work to do that. Try to make something in Blender every day and don't be afraid to experiment. That is exactly what I did when I learned Blender. I made something every day. What I would do is I would watch two, three tutorials. I would take what I learned and apply it to a design. It, it, you know, I would just say like, take the primitive, learn about some models, learn about lighting, let's make something. I wouldn't post it. I didn't post anything about maybe two months until I really felt comfortable with it. Um, so you don't need to post, you know, show everyone what you're doing. It is the learning process. So try to work every day, a little bit every day. Um, it doesn't matter if you don't, you don't finish something every day, but learning a little bit every day and applying it to a design is really, really important in getting your hands in the program and learning something. Play with the basic startup. Try making the cube look cool and interesting, then do the next step. The key is not stopping. Super true, really good idea. You know, add a bevel to the cube, maybe displace it a little bit, add a little noise texture, plug into the roughness, different things like that. And, add, and by the time you're done, oh, I've made something really cool with the default cube. I didn't think I would have done this. And you've learned some stuff, you've learned some tricks, and you've learned a little bit about your own personal workflow just from doing that little exercise. Start enjoying it instead of stressing yourself out. That's something I talked about a little bit ago. Um, if you're not enjoying it, you're gonna get discouraged. So try to find things to enjoy about the learning process. 
it's it sucks i know it sucks i hated it but once you get past that point it's addicting it's why i've made blender my job and one thing i just i love doing it and that's it's addicting it's fun it's really cool you just got to get past that learning curve and you are not going to regret it put a hard limit on the amount of tutorials you watch it eats up a lot of time and it'll be discouraging super true i didn't do that and that's kind of how i burnt out a couple times when i was first learning in the kind of that first month really good advice i kind of wish i heard this when i was learning really good stuff try a lot of new things starting out but choose one or two to focus on later super true of course in those things make sure they're the basic things don't you know try to do water simulation in your first week you're gonna pull your hair out uh, but just try different little things try the modifiers try a little bit of sculpting just to see what the brushes do try to mess with the nose a little bit noise texture roughness different things like that understand composition and color before you begin really true um, as you're learning in that first month try to take a couple breather videos where you can just watch and learn and the blender guru has some great composition and color videos i would dive into those really good stuff it's easier if you enjoy it if you don't i don't necessarily mean you'll fail but you'll find it harder very true i like this one a lot and it, yeah it's true look at references especially real world references memory does not equal reality I've made that mistake. I've even made that mistake in tutorials I've done. Um, yeah, it's everyone makes the mistake of saying, oh, I know what rust looks like. Oh, I know what tree, you know, tree branches look like. When your memory is a lot often just kind of tainted and it, you need to look at real world references to get that and really good advice. I wish I'd have heard that. Consume art other than 3D. You'd be surprised how much they can inspire. A lot of my favorite designs that I've done, I've seen from looking at 2D artists, paintings, things like that. Get immersed in art. Don't just get immersed in blender art. You don't want to get in an echo chamber of 3D. You'll get sucked up into it and then your art will suffer from it. Watch movies, watch art, look at everything, not just 3D art, and you'll really benefit from it. And that is all the answers that I got. There was a lot of people just saying, learn the basics. The biggest answer was take on the basics. And of course, that's obvious and it's kind of a boring answer, but it you should really think about it if you're learning Blender. You know, sit down, learn the basics. Once you feel comfortable, you can combine all that and then really do some crazy stuff just from basic knowledge. I started making tutorials three months into me learning Blender. Um, and I was making cool stuff and I was making stuff that I thought people would want to learn and they did. And so have some confidence in yourself after you learn the basics. You can really make some incredible stuff. Thank you guys for watching and I hope you enjoyed it.